running warm, being feverish. What's the difference? And when you're sick, why does it matter? Searches for what qualifies as a fever shot up this weekend online. So let's verify. Our sources are the CDC, several hospitals, and Dr. Let's Michael Knight from George Washington University. Sure. So fever is when our body starts to react to either an infection or our immune system is revved up, if you will, because of an autoimmune condition. And your body temperature rises. Regardless of if you're a person who runs hot or you're someone who's always cold, our experts agree that most healthcare providers consider a temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or above to be a fever. Though Cedar sinai Hospital explains that anything from 99.6 to 100.3 could be considered a low-grade fever. When we think about what is a fever, it's when the temperature of the body is higher than your average temperature. A fever is a sign your immune system is at work, but it's still a symptom that you can treat, kind of like a cough or a headache. So Dr. Knight says not to worry about taking something to bring a fever down, to help you feel better and avoid dehydration. Fever reducers such as acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or aspirin have not been shown to prevent your body from fighting an infection. And because fevers are just another symptom of illness, you might not have a fever even if you are sick. So if you are experiencing other signs of illness, it's worth checking in with your doctor. And if you do have a fever, the CDC recommends waiting until 24 hours after your temperature normalizes to go back to work. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.